Hey everybody, it's Matt Brown from Matt Brown's Guitar Studio and the band Dead Parade. So I am back with another lesson on how to read music. In this one I will kind of detail the sixth string, quickly review the other strings, and then we'll play some songs that, that utilize all of these strings. So let's get into the sixth string. We have an E and an F and a G. So same locations as your first string, open, first, and third frets. So the E is below the third ledger line, so real low. F is on the third ledger line, and G is right below it. So that's it for that string. Same notes as the first string, just two octaves lower. All right, so moving down towards the floor, fifth string, we have open A, B at the second fret, C at the third fret, fourth string, we've got open D, and then E and F at the second and third frets. Third string is the oddball, just G and A. Open and second. Open B string, we have B, C, B and C all is next to our neighbors. D at the third fret. Moving down, we've got E. F at the first fret, just like the sixth string. And G at the third fret, just like the sixth string. Okay, so take your time, review the notes if you need to, and come back and join me for the first song. First one we're gonna do is I Gave My Love a Cherry. So it's a pretty easy folk song. Um, not a lot of difficult rhythms, just reading some low ledger line notes is the challenge here. So what I will do is uh, give you a one bar count in and then one, two, three, since we have the pickups, and then we'll play on four. So here we go. I'm gonna turn the metronome on, 100 beats per minute. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three. Okay, so that's it for that one. Spend some more time practicing and then come back and I'll explain how we're going to play the next song. Next up is Hall of the Mountain King by Edvard Grieg. So maybe you've heard this in some cartoons or, you know, a movie or something. So this one has some accidentals in it. Accidentals are sharp splats in natural signs. So right off the bat at the key signature, we have the F sharp indicating that our Fs are sharp unless otherwise indicated. So first thing to talk about is measure three. We have a B flat. And so that flat is gonna to carry to the end of the measure. So we have actually two B flats. B flat, G, B flat. And then uh, next up in the next measure, we're gonna have a natural sign. So that is going to be an F natural. Now that F, I know this is getting confusing, gets canceled out by the bar line that happens there. So in the next measure where we have this E, we're gonna do an F sharp, G, A. So those concepts will apply down in the second line, like we've got B, C sharp, D sharp, E. Next measure, we've got F sharp because of the key signature. Back to F sharp. So that takes care of it for the, uh, the accidentals. So next up, I have to talk about the musical road signs. We have some alternate endings at the end of this one that we haven't seen yet. So what that means is you're going to start at measure 17, where that repeat sign opening starts. You're going to play to measure 24, where the repeat sign ends, and you have the first ending bracket. Then you go back to the measure 17, and you play 17 through 22 again. The second time, though, you're going to skip the first ending and you're going to go to the second one. So go to jump ahead to measure 25. Think of it as like an exit on a highway. You know, you're just taking this exit the next time to get you to your destination. So that's where the song ends. So I'll shut up and play this one at 100 beats per minute for you. Okay, since we all start on one with this one, I'll just give you one measure of a count in.
So four, four counts. One, two, ready, go. mistakes or anything was a little off make sure you figure out what that was maybe watch it again and keep practicing and when you're ready come join me for the final song of this one so the last song we have in this lesson is home on the range so i'm sure most americans at least are familiar with this one so we have a uh, just one new thing to talk about which is what's called a fermata it's kind of like the i don't know like a little eyeball symbol that you'll see above measure 29 so what that means is essentially to hold that note for as long as the conductor or the leader of your band tells you to. So uh, since we're you know kind of doing this over the internet, I'm just gonna ignore it. But just so you know what that means, it means to hold until somebody gives you a cue to keep going. So I will put the metronome on for this one, maybe a little bit faster, maybe 110 for this one for an extra challenge. So practice up, it's on the screen. Come back and join me when you're ready. Since we have a pickup note for this one, I will count one, two, three for one measure, and then one, two, and we'll play on beat three. Just so we're on the same page here. So 110, 110 beats per minute. One, two, three, one, two. lesson to give you a preview of what's coming up this is definitely not the end of this so I've got some lessons on how to understand different time signatures like 6-8 cut time some lessons on understanding strumming patterns and how rhythm corresponds to the directions so lots more coming so some harder songs as well so please stick around please subscribe like this video I am Matt Brown from Matt Brown's Guitar Studio in the band Dead Parade and I'll see you around for the next lesson